Merry Christmas! Today is Saturday, December 25th. Merry Christmas to those of you that celebrate. I thought it would be kind of fun to vlog the day and currently I'm in the kitchen not making Christmas dinner. I just finished making uh, chicken soup. I'm going to take it over to my stepdad's house. Unfortunately, he, him and his girlfriend both tested positive for COVID. And we were not going to celebrate Christmas dinner with them. I was going to bring my grandmother over here to the new home and we had gifts ready and everything. But she's not positive. But we figure since she's in that house, she should stay there and um, we'll celebrate another time. But I still feel really bad. So I'm going to bring them chicken soup and presents for my grandmother. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm just gonna go probably in my PJs and then come back because I, then I do have to start dinner and I, we, <laughs> we have so much food, but I'm trying to be positive and we'll have food for the next few days. Um, I'm sure by the end of it, we'll be tired of prime rib and no, that's, who am I kidding? I love prime rib. I won't get sick of it. We'll do, we'll make it with eggs for breakfast. We'll have sandwiches because we have a 10 pound prime rib for three people. It was supposed to be for four, which is probably too much anyway. Um, but yeah, it's, it's unfortunately not the day that we wanted, but we're going to try to make the best of it. Here is some chicken soup without the chicken. I didn't have any chicken, uh, but there's spinach that I last I added last minute, celery, potato, carrots, um, and I always forget. Is it a? It's not a parsnip. I think I have a a turnip in here, and yeah, it came out pretty good for doing it so fast. Look at this. It's about 2 p.m. Daisy, I don't think that's going to work. And here is the prime rib. Um, so we're supposed to let it cook for one hour. And then after the hour is done, you just let it cook with the oven off for two hours. And then it should be ready. And that is the start of the antipasto here. Um... Gotta put these things into here, and that's the Italian bread. And then in here, we have a few other things for the antipasto. There's some doubled eggs up there. Yeah, so we're we're getting there. And here is the antipasto. And I made. Shirley Temples, and that's our drink for tonight, passion fruit mezcato. I didn't even film the food, but here's the aftermath. We have cleaned the appetizers and dinners up, and we didn't do too bad. There's still half a prime rib left, of course, maybe even more, and we just watched White Christmas while we were eating. Sorry for the really unflattering angle here. Uh, today is Tuesday, December 28th, and I am on my way to get my booster. I was able to schedule one for today. I had a couple of appointments made, which I will cancel, of course, so that those spots can open up for later this week. And I wanted to do it while I was off because when I got my second shot of the Moderna vaccine, I was sick for several days and I'm just hoping that that doesn't happen this time. But if it does, then at least I'll be in the comfort of my own home. And I'm just going to take this week to just enjoy being here because it was hard to enjoy it. Uh, while working and just being in the mess but the mess is almost gone there's a ton of boxes still but everything um, is going pretty well and I'm gonna um, I brought my water bottle because you should stay hydrated I mean you should stay hydrated all the time but especially when you get um, any type of vaccine or booster and I'm also going to be returning a couple of things since I'm on the road already hopefully 
if I do get sick, I won't get sick until later today or tomorrow. I have a couple of returns that I will take you to. But first, let me go get my booster. I have to set up my car uh, GPS here. Connect, uh, I just connect this to my phone and then it gets on the screen. I wanted to tell you a funny story before I get on the road here. I don't know where I'm going. And it's been like that here because I whenever we hang out hung out in Jersey before we moved uh Steve was usually one driving and I would kind of pay attention and I sort of know but I don't really uh the other day I was turning left and for some reason I was gonna go there was nobody around thank goodness but I was going into on oncoming traffic like the wrong lane and I hopped to t the divider so that I could kind of not injure anybody and get on the right track but it's been and I don't say that too lightly like it was a scary situation it's just that I've been like backwards and driving at night has become really bad for me my eyes I don't know what it is um so I'm just gonna I leave myself extra time now to get somewhere it says about 17 minutes um and that should give me about 10 minute uh leeway if I get lost because Jersey is all about u-turns and circles and things like that Okay, I'm here at the CVS and I have my mask ready. I'm gonna check in and then go inside. I hope you can hear me because I have my mask on, but that's the sign I'm returning. I might pick up those insulated glasses, but I love this thing. I'm at Home Goods right now. That is so cute. Oh, look at that Christmas coaster. That's cute. My, I forgot to mention my you're gonna be crooked I'm sorry uh, my booster appointment was at 1130 I as soon as I got in they were called my name so that was amazing now it's about 1230 ish and I just finished up at home because I still have to make a return at Walmart I'm a little nervous because I don't have a receipt but everything that I've been reading online says that that's okay that um if it's they scan it and then they make sure that you're not like they check your ID to make sure you're not like a frequent returner anyway so I'm gonna head there next but I want to share with you quickly a haul my home goods haul so I got these chips pop sea salt and cracked pepper look kind of fancy love chips and then here is deep river pink Himalayan salted I also got uh, one of our spatulas, the one that I really like to use, has a rip in the this part. I got this one from All Recipes. Love the way that looks. I also got a frying pan. This is the tea fat. We have one of these and they're really good. So I thought I would get a smaller one. And I had kept a lot of pots and pans for my mom and my grandmother. But some of them just, we just use it because we have it. So I'm trying to upgrade a little bit. And then I've always wanted a double insulated mug, a clear one, and they had, I was going to get another one without a handle, but there was like a defect on it, and I prefer a handle. So excited about this. And I, this is, I mean, I don't go there because I end up buying stuff, like there were so many other things that I wanted to get, but I control myself and just got these things, which I probably didn't need either. And then off to Walmart, and I have to GPS them. Sorry, maybe I should talk to you without doing that. I, I have to GPS everywhere just because I don't, I am familiar with the area, but don't know exactly how to get anywhere. And this is the plaza that I'm in. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Five Below, Dollar Tree, Home Goods, Bob's Furniture, Lowe's, and then all the way across there is Wegmans. My Walmart haul, some ginger ale, Lunchables, and eggs. What a haul. But I was able to get a gift card from Walmart. Um, if it was less than $10, they would have gave me cash. But I was just grateful not to have the slippers. And I used the gift card to pay for part of this. I am home. It's about 1.30 p.m. And I'm really happy because I got all of the errands that I needed to do get done today got my booster that was the most important thing and I don't feel anything I felt a little weird afterwards but I think it's just because all the excitement I built it up and I was kind of excited to get it 
and then all of that energy kind of drained and I felt weird uh, but that was all in my head I'm feeling okay now and gotta make sure I drink water I was able to make my returns to home goods and Walmart and Walmart even though I didn't get my money back I still got a gift card and I was I would have ended up going there anyway um, in a future day if I didn't buy the stuff today that I just shared with you bought way more than I wanted to out but I feel like it's all things that we're gonna use and eat and need um, so I don't feel too bad about that uh, plus it just I don't know like I was just perusing and it was nice to be out I don't mind shopping by myself I feel like I get a lot more done it would have been nice to have my sister too uh, with me but uh, she was home and now I'm gonna go back and maybe eat a little something and definitely take a nap <laughs> I would my naps are usually very long so that's why I'm laughing right now because I don't know how to take a 15 or 20 minute nap which is what probably what I should be doing hey it is about 2 p.m. I'm I just came upstairs to the bedroom to get as you can see a ton of boxes oh, but not to show you that Daisy come here come here uh, I came up to get Daisy to take her to use the bathroom and feed her. It's about lunchtime for her now. She's been napping. Come here. Come here. I'm trying to get her. Come here. Daisy, come here. Come here. Uh, she wants to stay in here. Maybe I could show her to you in a little bit. I also wanted to talk a little bit about my grandmother. She hasn't been feeling well. She's ha been having breathing issues, wheezing. She has a nebulizer, an inhaler. Uh, unfortunately, she doesn't really use those things, even though I've asked her to use it instead of cough medicine. It doesn't matter what kind of breathing issue, coughing, uh, like not being able to catch her breath, she uses cough medicine. Oh, and look at that. The big one's here, too. Look at all the dogs. All the dogs are here. But this is Daisy. I do really have to do a, just the video on her. And there's Ava. Hi, Ava. It's okay. I know. Why is your blanket out? <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, I feel bad because I think they're going to take her to urgent care. And they've been taking care of her while they're sick. There's just a lot of emotions because I feel like I should be doing all this stuff, but then I don't live with her anymore. Um, but I'm not that far away. Like, should I be going over there? Just a bunch of questions like that. And me and her are not close in that way. Or I don't feel that the same way about her. It's, you know, all family stuff is very complicated and... I just, I don't know what I should be doing, what the right thing is. I think just because of everything that's been going on recently with COVID, I think I should just stay here and do what I can from here. Of course, if they need me to be there, I will be there. Uh, but I think it's just the wisest choice is to stay back. And if I can do anything, I will. Uh, but it's really hard because I would be the one you know, taking her to urgent care and getting her medicines and um, trying to see what we could do to make her feel better. Um, she gets coughs every year around the same time, and it's just usually around this time as well. Uh, but hopefully it's nothing. Please let it be a UTI. Fingers crossed. And... Yeah, let me take this one out because she's been very, very patient. Okay. Hey, guys. You haven't heard that much from me yesterday and today because I feel awful. And I think I mentioned when I got my second shot of Moderna, I was sick for several days. It was not fun. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow I'll feel a little bit better. Because I can't do anything. I We brought our dogs to daycare just to test it out and see if they like it. Because it's f five minutes away, a five minute drive. And it would be so great if we could just have a place nearby that if we need to drop the dogs off, we can. Uh, so we did that. But this morning, I just was barely talking. And it's really what bothering me. Um, I have all the symptoms, you know, pain at the injection site, sweating, nausea 
headache. Um, but the worst is the body aches. I feel like I'm cold, I'm hot, I'm cold, I'm hot too. Uh, but the odd body aches, like I just took a Tylenol so I can kind of move my arm now, which is exciting. Uh, but I was just in bed all day. Except for when dropping off uh, Daisy and Maisie. Ava, um, unfortunately, she's a little high maintenance and doggy daycare is not for her. Maybe we'll find a good match. But um, yeah, so we did that. And yesterday, I'm glad that after my booster shot that I did the stuff that I wanted to do because today is a total loss. I'm hoping tomorrow I can do a few things. Um, and... Yeah, I'm, ex I'm um, excited. <laughs> I miss the dogs, but it's so nice to not have to, because you have to constantly watch them. Ava, she's a pro, and she could handle herself. But the little ones, they get into everything, so you have to watch them all the time, and they need to be stimulated. And I'm glad that other people are stimulating <laughs> the dogs now. Daisy's back. My sister and her boyfriend went to pick her up and she wolfed down her food. She starving. They, that's the only thing I don't really like is they don't give them lunch. Of course, I would give them the lunch to give her. Uh, PetSmart, they gave the dogs lunch if you provided the lunch for them. But I am feeling so much better. It's crazy. Just in a span of like a couple of hours. Now, I am going to say... It's probably the ibuprofen that's making me feel really good because it's prescription strength. I got it from uh, my doctor uh, for my shingles, which I didn't really use because it didn't help with the nerve pain, but it helps with this. So I'm feeling good or feeling better. I'm not feeling good. I'm feeling better. I'm able to sit up. <laughs> I mean, like, I was sitting for last night at, like, 8.30 p.m., which is super early for me. I was in bed, like, just, and I'm just going, uh, uh, like that. It was so crazy. Um, but, yeah, I'm feeling better. I even feel like smiling a little bit. It's been torturous the last, the last day and a half, really. But now I'm feeling better, and got my dogs. I'm going to put her to bed because she's probably exhausted. Hey everyone, today is Thursday, December 30th. I just wanted to quickly check in. I didn't film at all today, just a lot going on in my mind and I'm, I have not been feeling well since the booster. I woke up this morning with a headache and realized too late that it was a migraine. My symptoms of a migraine are it's just like a really persistent headache that's just throbbing and... Um, light sensitivity, you don't feel like eating. I did finally take something in the afternoon. I thought it was, I had a headache because my sleeping has been kind of weird. I haven't gotten a full night's sleep in the last few days and it's been on and off my sleep. Um, but I think it was a migraine. And um, unfortunately, a lot that's been on my mind is my grandmother. She is in the hospital with a bunch of um medical issues and on top of that she has COVID so she has to be in isolation no visitors allowed I just feel bad for her I finally spoke to her today after not being able to speak with her and she sounded alert but it's scary to be in the hospital and especially when no one can come visit you um it's just even harder I feel like especially for her she's 90 she doesn't really know how to use her phone and um there was a young man who I think it was a it must have been an aide uh, helping her call me from the hospital phone and I just feel bad and I hope hopefully she can get out of the hospital soon but she is has a lot of things going on with her. back from all our errand running I put a few clips of the places that we went to um, one of them was rude awakening and then another because the another coffee shop had something else that we wanted uh, portado uh, so we went there and then we went to a bake shop 
uh, it was called Booze, and they did a lot of cupcakes and other desserts. Uh, we went there for the cupcakes. We thought we would do something different this year in terms of dessert, dessert for New Year's. We're just staying in. It's going to be the four of us um, and the dogs, of course. Uh, we also went to Wegmans, Costco, and Lowe's. Right now, I'm putting Christmas lights that we never used this year. Uh, just because of a variety of reasons, we didn't put a lot of lights up this year. Uh, we barely put up the Christmas tree. We just did that the week of Christmas Eve and Christmas. Um, but yeah, these are so cute. We just took pictures with them because I wanted to take a family photo before the new year. So I upload it and make the announcement that we, you know, officially moved to Jersey. And oh my goodness, I just separated these lights, but they get tangled so easily. But I am glad that it comes with this wheel thing. I got this from Target. Uh, otherwise, I'm feeling much better from the booster. My arm is still super sore. <sighs> Maybe I should get a massage. I don't know. Uh, but we are getting Korean food. I think I mentioned that. And then we'll have little appies right before. And I'll show you that stuff too. Oh, and quickly, I uh, got an update on my grandmother. She's doing much, much better. Um, everything seems to be normal. She might have to do some physical therapy at home. Uh, but that's to be expected. And she might be released in two days, which is so great such great news i'm hoping to visit her sometime next week um just when everything has settled down and you know she doesn't have covid of course um yeah so great news about that hey i am Doing a mask, I thought I would. I just got in the mood, and I get this very once in a while where I want to take a bath. So right now, while this is drying, it's the Glam Glow. Uh, which one is it? It's my favorite one, and I can't remember. I don't know the super clearing treatment. I think never taken a bath here, and while the tub was clean, I just want this. You see at the end there. Um, I put some bleach gel that I am going to scrub now and then that'll be super clean and ready for me to take a bath. And I have a couple of, so I'm going to use this bath bomb that I've never used. I got this a long time ago. And then I don't have bubble bath, but I know that you can use um, body wash as uh, an alternative. So that's what I'm going to do. And then... Just relax. So this bath was a fail, as you can see. Um, so this doesn't drain right, even though this that was up before. That does not drain. I mean, it drains a little bit. Um, so the water was slowly going down, but then I noticed that the water was coming out cold. Uh, we did turn down the water heater just because whenever we put it on hot, it would almost burn your skin. So we were. We just wanted to prevent that. Um, but then this is too cold. And so now I'm sitting freezing in the tub, not relaxing. At least I have some bubbles and I'm still gonna use my bath bomb. I'm waiting for the water to, water heater to heat up again. I hate wasting this much water, but I figured I only take a bath maybe once or twice a year. I don't think I've taken a bath actually since we moved into the house. I think I tried once and that was it. So that must be like three years at least. <laughs> um, so I'm sorry for wasting water. <laughs> hey, I am done with that whole bath slash shower fiasco not relaxing i ended up taking a very lukewarm very luke shower it was not not warm at all but it wasn't freezing cold which i should be grateful for and i am um i was looking at my nails and toenails and it's just the area like even like where the nail comes out of 
Uh, it just looks so dry and flaky and crusty. Uh, so I, well, besides trying to use hand cream, which is terrible, right? This is standing right at me, but I'm not going to use it because I just hate the way that it feels on um, the inside. I don't, anybody else like that? Like, I don't mind up here, but this, and as soon as I put hand cream on, I feel like I have to do something with my hands. So ridiculous. Uh, I just put on the cuticle oil on both my toenails and nails, and I feel like it drank it up. So I'm going to try to be better about doing that every day, or at least after I shower. And then I'm looking at this face cream. It says the Olay. I felt like my mom just then because I'm reading it far away. Uh, it's the Olay moisturizer, the one without SPF. And I got this for nighttime uh, just because I don't feel like you need SPF at nighttime. But that's not strong enough for the winter. I need to find something else in my stash that is just going to put moisture back. Because you can feel here is so dry. And then over here. Um... And that brings me to something new that I'm going to try in 2022. And that is, for example, I have this serum. And I don't usually start a new product of that same, uh, the same type of product. I won't start a new serum until this one is done. But I'm like, how will I know if I like the next one? Maybe I'll hate it. And then I'll have to use it up. But I'm starting to feel like that's just... I will never get through any of these things. So what I'm going to do is, I'll just keep on using the same example. I'll open up two to three serums. If I really dislike a product, I will be getting rid of it or maybe donating it to a family member. And if I find a product that I like or if I'm kind of so-so, I don't hate it, but I'll keep on using it. Like those are the two that I'll like switch back and forth and do that with a lot of my products just because... Like I said, my current system is not working and I want to go through these things and I've come to realize that I don't have like, I'm not a holy grail products type of person. I like to test out new stuff and just keep on like going on the hunt. I, I enjoy finding the products, but I don't necessarily like make them my favorite. I just like trying new things. I hope that made sense. Um, I've been trying to reach my grandmother, but her phone, not even her cell phone, her hospital phone has been, you know, the recording comes, this number is not in service, and it's kind of frustrating because I did want to speak to her before New Year's, uh, tomorrow, uh, just to wish her a happy New Year's Eve, um, but I'm hoping she's okay right now, and maybe I will get, still get in contact with her. And here is our New Year's Eve spread. It's about 11.15, I think. We have pigs in a blanket, classic. Goat cheese with onions, garlic, tomatoes, and a drizzle of balsamic glaze. Cheese and crackers and salami. There's brie over there. More crackers. A fig spread. We might open, we might not. The same for the blue crab dip, which is delicious. And then we have... Costco cocktail shrimp they had so many of these they were prepared and we like it the cocktail sauce extra spicy so here's the horseradish don't mind my credit card back there and then we're gonna have champagne over there and there's chips if we want it for the blue uh the crab dip looks delicious hey it is actually in new year it's january 2nd but i never closed out the vlog so i'm gonna do that now i hope you guys enjoyed the last week of the, my last week of 2021 and i hope you have an amazing 2022 filled with happiness health love whatever your heart desires and i'll see you soon bye